Hey y'all and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to do a pour and this is going to be something I'm, I'm doing just for myself. Um, as you know I moved from California to Texas and I had to bring a little bit of my beach decor with me so and I've got a little little spot in the bathroom that I need something special and I know what colors I want so I've picked, chosen the, those colors so I'm going to make this it's going to be a little small canvas um, a lot of you have been saying that you really want to do some pours for Christmas gifts. If you have not done a pour yet, this is one of the easiest, easiest to do um, for your first pour. So, let's get set up and get right to it. So, what I'm going to do today is the flip cup technique. It's very, very easy to do. I've chosen four colors. I've got a spice tan. I have a Bahama blue. And I've got this really pretty, it's just called cloudless. It's a blue. And then, of course, white. But I have this little small ca canvas. It's probably like a, uh, maybe a six or eight by ten. No, it's not eight by ten. It's probably a six by ten, maybe. I don't know and it didn't have it written on it but it's gonna be just the perfect size for the spot that I'm wanting this to go <clears throat> I've mixed up each of these paints probably like a half ounce of paint with a full ounce of Floetrol and I have a nice nice flow fluid going on uh, here just make sure you stir it very, very thoroughly. I can see this paint may have sat for a little while and I see some little thick spots there that I want to make sure are all blended very well. It's always a good idea before you start to pour in your, your, uh, your cup to make your dirty pour to stir one more time just to make sure that your medium and your paint is well mixed. But however much paint you use, and it, uh, it all depends on the size canvas that you're going to be using. Again, this was a small little canvas. Um, I may have some leftover paint, we'll see. But that's okay because it'll say you put a lid on it or some uh, plastic wrap on it. It will keep, it'll keep for a little while. So. <clears throat> I'm just going to layer these colors. And this is a little seven ounce cup that I've got this one. Oh, didn't hang on to that very well, did I? I'm just going to continue to layer a little more. One thing, you know, I know, oops, made a mess there, but we're going to cover it up. One thing, I, I, a lot of people, you know, like, oh, you used too much paint, oh, you didn't use enough paint. Everybody's got an opinion about that. This, I will say, there's not much paint in this cup. It's, it's because it's a two to one ratio with Floetrol. So I have a larger amount of the medium in here that I do paint. But what I can tell you when doing a pour, and, and I know you've probably seen me do it before because I do try to mix very conservatively, but when you under, under mix and under have it ready, you've got this, you know, great piece going and all, man, you don't have enough paint. There wasn't enough paint in there. But when you have to go back and remix and pour again, it's, you're, you're going to get something a little different. It's not going to be exactly the same. So, you know, there's little pros and cons into being, uh, you don't want to be wasteful, but you, too conservative can still get you in trouble. So for the flip cup, this is exactly like it sounds. I'm going to pick up my canvas, put it on top of my cup, and literally we're going to flip it over.
And then what I'm going to do, she's going to take my cup. I'm not dragging. I'm just flipping and letting her run. Oh, I've lost a, well, I lost a couple of my <laughs> little clips that were holding my canvas up, but that is okay. I will stabilize it after we get done pouring here. all of that tan. I want to keep some of that tan there so we'll see if I can stretch that back out and then see if we can get it to keep some of it there. Well it just didn't want to but we're gonna see if we can do it like that and I want to get that tan to roll back down. I'm going to catch this on the edge here to get my sides. I still missed, missed a corner, didn't I? Okay, I like that. Very simple, very easy. Great little colors in here. This is going to be perfect, I do believe, in my in my little beachy bathroom. I like that. I'm probably what I've had. What I have in mind is putting something across here uh, in vinyl, uh, some lettering. Um, so that's what my thought is for that. So we'll see how what sparks me once this once this dries completely. But um, again. Very simple. If it's your first time to pour, this is a very, very simple. This flip cup is just a very simple uh, technique to do. Um, we've got <laughs> great lacing and sails going on that just, you know, kind of reminded me of some sand and, and water. So that was the whole goal of what I wanted to do with this little piece. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate your likes, your shares, and I look forward to your comments. And uh, if you are new to Design by Kathy and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. And hey, don't forget to check the links down below my website with my art, uh, my Amazon with wish list and things that I use, which just helps support the channel and I appreciate that. So get some paint and get to pouring. Everybody have a great day. Thank you.